Hello, my Aquarian friends. Um, still knocking out April readings, so trying to get those done by the end of the weekend. So next week I can concentrate on all the readings for May and get those done. Hopefully by the uh, end of the day on the 30th of April. That would be amazing if I could actually pull that off. We'll see. We'll see. I guarantee nothing. I, I never know what the universe has in store for me today today. So, you know, it's fine. But I'm going to throw it on your card. So this reading will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for April 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do. With the message given to you by the cards, you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. The Fool and the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Wonder what that's all about. Somebody starting something new? Hmm. Somebody taking a leap of faith? I don't know. It doesn't resonate, though. That's okay. Check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross -watcher. Our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome at the fire sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome here, and I enjoy it when people stop by. While you're here, if you want to hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell, you know, do what you want. I'd appreciate it, though. That way you can know when I actually upload and, you know. Because lately, um, past, well, months, months, multiple, a long time, it's not exactly consistent. And, yeah, well, I'm working through some things, so... I fully believe that this is going to be our year here at Fire Sign Tarot, and things are going to get better. Um, I'm starting to get better, so that's a bonus, right? Anyway, before I do the uh, invocation of the cards and throw them down, two things. One, don't ever make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good idea. I read tarot, and I would never in a million years do that. Um, I think you could ask any tarot reader and... They would just be like, nah, no, probably not the most brilliant thing to do. Two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, just leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not always going to be your story. You can't resonate with everybody all the time. That's not how this works. Okay. On with it. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for April 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. Let's bring Aquarius to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Aquarius, why are you here? Nine of Swords, what are you all uh, freaking out about? You losing sleep? Something got you a little stressed out? What's up with that? Okay, well, figure it out. Ah, uh, four wands reversed and the wheel of fortune. Um, what? Well, here's the good news. This is probably karmic. Probably meant to teach you something. I'll throw clarifiers on it in a minute, but some came crashing down. And usually when things come crashing down, it's because they weren't built on stable ground anyway. Something came crashing down, doors slammed shut, however you want to look at it. It wasn't, it wasn't stable. It wasn't meant to be. But there's always a positive outlook on that. The, the wheel is in the upright, so it probably sucked in the moment, but positive things are going to come out of it wait long enough. Current, okay. Current energy, the sun. All right. Um, happiness, joy, and bliss in the sun shining in your world does not exactly coincide with losing sleep. So definitely going to need a clarifier on that. But it brings me back to the soulmate connection thing. Soulmates do not always come into our lives to stay. Oftentimes, they come into our lives to teach us something that we need to learn here in this soul life, and then they bounce. It happens all the time. Does it suck when it happens? Yeah. But it's for the benefit of the soul journey. The 
this journey, this collection of moments. What's coming in? Oh, well. Hmm. <laughs> huh. This just got interesting. Four of Cups reversed and a Ace of Pentacles. This just got super interesting. Huh. Wait a minute. All right, let's get the bottoms because now I'm intrigued. Okay, okay. Hair fit and the Five of Swords. All right. The hair fit, really? Stop for a second. Yeah, he's the Pope of the Tarot deck. He marries people. He can indicate a blessed union. He's also the teacher. He's the teacher of teachers. Also always the student. Does that make sense? It's a life lesson thing. This is, this, this is screaming life lessons. Okay. All right. We'll throw clarifiers on it. Five of swords on top of a wheel. I keep hearing and I'm sensing that somebody got told to kick bricks and I don't think it was you. Kick bricks. Yeah. Hit the bricks, make dust, you know, hit the road. You get what I'm saying. About 700 different ways to say that. Again, we'll get clarity in a second. What's going on on top of the sun? That's what's up. Five of Wands reversed. Ending conflict. Hmm. Hmm. Knight of Cups reversed on top of a Four of Cups reversed. That's interesting. Ignoring a cup, rejecting a cup. Ending conflict. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Cups reversed. Hmm. All right. What's up with this Nine of Swords? Let's get a little clarity. Because I want to clarify that. Alright. Go over there. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can we get some clarity in the top of this? Ah, wow. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Aquarius, please? Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 2021. Okay, definitely a life lesson here. This taught you something, Aquarius. The question is, are you retaining what you learned? I mean, they can teach you algebra in school, but are you going to remember a lick of it after you graduate? No, not until you need it. Point taken? Point taken. You know what I'm going to need algebra again? Well, I shouldn't say that because I use it like every day at work, but it's really going to come in handy when I have to like teach my son algebra or help him with his homework. That's when stuff like that comes in handy. All that English literature I learned in school. Yeah. Yeah. That stuff that was, I, I thought I would never use. Oh gosh, I'm using it. Now. Let me tell you. <laughs> Anywho. All right. Let's get this, get this going here. Okay. Ha. Ah. Two of swords. Decision? Is that what had you up at night? 
That's a hard choice to make. No, now it's making sense. All right, what's up with the Four of Wands reversed? Four of Pentacles. Came crashing down. Came crashing down because of the Four of Pentacles. Was somebody holding on to something? One more. Why the Four of Pentacles? You want to talk. Three of Pentacles. A pentacles are real slow moving energy, guys. Holding on to that. Or straight up being miserly. This may have been, there may have been money issues. I'm hearing money in the bank, money in the bank. Why is the hierophant here? Five of Cups, sorry, Five of Swords, Ace of Cups. <sighs> this had something to do with money. I'd almost guarantee it. Why the Five of Swords? Page of Cups. Communication. Oh no. I think somebody was saving up for, <laughs> wow, somebody was like trying to get money in the bank, keep money in the bank, trying, trying, trying to lay a steady foundation, and there was communication going on elsewhere. That five of swords, that's screaming like shady backdoor deals to me. Like somebody was communicating with somebody else. Wow, wicked. Oh my gosh. Okay. Super weird, but okay. This particular Five of Swords. Nine of Wands comes out in the reverse. Somebody got told to kick rocks. Somebody threw in the towel. It's like, you know what? I'm looking out for me right now, and... Obviously, you're not looking out for me, so I'm just going to throw the towel in on this. Why the wheel? High Priestess, somebody went with their gut. Okay, 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 I'm down with that, okay. Why is the sun? Why the sun for what's going on right here right now? Hi. Page of Swords, communication. Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, oh my gosh, somebody wants to put an end to conflict, somebody's talking, somebody wants to make the sun shine in your world. Can I get one more on this? One more. Oh, it went flying that way, give me one second, I, I gotta find it. Hold on. I mean, it's right there, but... Oh, goodness. <laughs> Cherry reversed. I love how that works. Somebody's making a comeback. Aquarius. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. That's what has you all up in your head. It's like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's another one of those, you did me dirty, and... I went with my intuition. I told you to like make dust and now you're back and I don't want nothing to do with the cup that you're giving me. 
Why is the Four of Cups reversed here? Ten of Swords, this painful cycle has done ended. I don't want the cup that you're trying to hand me or you tried to hand it to me once. Well, you were handing it to somebody else. Oh my. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed here? Six of Wands, upright three of Wands reversed. Yeah. You made it off the battlefield. That's amazing. Love shouldn't have to be a battlefield anyway. It shouldn't be hard. Why do we make it so hard? I don't get it. But, you, yeah, you're just like, you know what? Um, I don't want your cup. I don't want nothing to do with your cup. Um, I'm not going to wait around for you to change. Go take a long walk off a short dock. Catch you on the flip side. We'll try again next soul life. That's just where you're at with this right now because you're done with the pain. I think the sun is already shining in your life. So why, why the hard decision? Are, are you like triggered? Are you triggered because somebody came back? Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm being told to shut up and read cards. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Oh my goodness, like five came out. Two of Wands showed itself. If there's anything else flipped down, I'm not taking it because like a bunch of them flew out. Okay, I'm not gonna take them. I'm not gonna take them. I'm not even gonna look at them because they didn't show themselves to me. We'll see if they come back out. But the Two of Wands, you're letting go, you're moving forward. Because you have, I mean, slow moving offer coming your way, but it's more stable than what you had going on down here, for sure. King of Wands. Ooh. I mean, it's a little more evolved than the Knight of Wands. I'll give it that. Probably pretty passionate. At the very least, somebody who knows what they want, and they go after it. Somebody who's not, like, dancing around it, and I don't know what I want, and blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, good news, right? Why the two cups reversed? And the king of wands isn't a bad guy to have around. Page of Wands. One more on this Page of Wands. Three Swords in the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Yeah, you're going to end up dumping somebody's cup. You're moving on. You got bigger and better things coming. That's amazing. You're hopping off this karmic wheel. When and if they return, it's not going to be reciprocated. I mean, if that's what you want to do, and if this is your story and it's resonating with you, do what you want. Do what makes you happy. Do what benefits you. There's nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong with exercising a little bit of healthy selfishness. If you were in a connection that wasn't 
the best of connections or you were putting in all the work and you were putting in all the effort and somebody else wasn't. I mean, yeah. Let's get your advice. Three of swords upright, five of cups reversed. Oof, that hurt. I'm hearing be kind. Okay, yeah, justice reversed in the six of the six of cups. Okay. Be kind. Don't I'm trying to figure out how to say this without being like all biblical and stuff. Turn the other cheek before you go an eye for an eye. Be kind. If it comes down to you have to reject them, don't be horrible about it. I understand that they may have put you through the ringer. I get that. They're coming back. They want to make things right. At the very least, l allow them to have their closure. Don't be a jerk about it. I mean, if you've moved on, that's fine. Shut that off. <laughs> Sun reversed, five of wands reversed. Yeah. Yeah, you can put an end to the conflict conflict without like making the sun stop shining in their world. You can you don't have to I mean it's understandable you're not on the same soul level anymore. The feelings aren't equal anymore, they're not reciprocated and that's fine. It, it there doesn't have to be like conflict and malice here. Because six of cups reversed and the hangman reversed the longer those bitter feelings are drug out, the worse this is going to be for everybody. Because those horrible, bitter feelings just leave you up in the hangman's gallows. Who wants to be up there? I mean, that is not a fun place to be for either side of what's going on here. So, allow closure to be closure. You don't have to be all up in your head about it, Aquarius. Just... Let end what needs to end so you can start the new cycle that you need to start. All right. But have a wonderful rest of your April, even though there's not very many days left. I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. Next week, hopefully, knock on wood. And this is an actual wooden table. So knock on wood. I'm hoping to have all of May's done by the end of the day on the 30th. So I will catch you next time. Know that you loved, be blessed, and take care.